Now this is the second part of my wheel work right here. As you can see in where it's white right here, this is where I put, I've done some really fine work with my caulk around the outside edges of the rim here. And then what I've done is I've gone on the inside too, and it's going to shrink a little bit, it shrinks between 5 and 7 percent, I'll put a little bit more on there, but dust won't get down in there. And then we'll, if we turn it over on the other side here, I have it on the back, uh, on the top of this heater here. I've done the outside edges right here, 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 and the inner, this is where the inner, uh, um, there's a really nice bead of, of welding, but I just put a little bit more in there to smooth it out. before I paint it. Now you, after you put the caulk in you cannot sand over it or else it's like sanding soft rubber, it'll just rip that out. But I want to see if the gold paint that I put on this will go over these caulk areas and uh, it'll all look like one a one piece wheel. And I don't know if it'll work or not. If it doesn't work, then I'll just I'll take it and I will. And I also went on the outer ring right here. You can see the outer ring. I put uh, the white caulk in there. You want to let it sit for at least 24 hours before you paint it because it is water-based. And after I spray the start spraying the the, the uh, gold color on there then it should all just mesh really nice and then I put a little bit right not here but on the other side here where the stem goes through so that's where I'm at right now let's see if I can get this back on here without screwing it up too badly I'm gonna let that sit on the heater for a while and it's real cold here it's colder than which is tit is really cold uh, I'll let that sit overnight and then we'll take the let's see. I'll take my gold paint right here and what I'll do with this is I will soak this in hot water for about 20 minutes and what that does is it gets the, the paint nice and warm another thing that you can do is go down to a a paint store that sells house paint and sometimes they have a, a gallon adapter deal that will they have to shake their paint up and if you can find the gallon adapter for the cans like this they'll put it in their shaker and they'll shake the hell out of this thing for five minutes and it, it'll come out like butter I mean just absolutely beautiful because you don't you just don't know how long these cans have been sitting or when they were made or anything so it's got good paint, but the better it's shaken up, the better it's mixed up, the better it goes on. So that's where we're at now with the replacing the bent gyro front wheel project. And we'll let that wait overnight, nice and dry. I'll tack it off and give it two coats of gold and let it sit another day. And then we'll do the clear.